Hey guys, this is Kim and Messy Soper over at Royal Appleberry, and please excuse the mess. As most of you know, this is craft fair season for me. I have a craft fair at the end of this month. So, hence the towel, and if you see any red specks, I've been making bath bombs. I've been doing so much. Um, so I just figured I'd show you guys while I'm doing this, because I've done a lot of stuff that you guys haven't saw, just because I, it's just way too much going on here. Yeah, I've been multitasking. So in here is a very, very thin layer of like, um, it's melt and pour with a very light gold shimmer. And I made all of these flowers. The fragrance on this is going uh, to be Victor and Rolf, um, flower bomb. It's a dupe. So I made these gold and these purple flowers. I don't know. I should probably go ahead and spray that with alcohol, but I don't know exactly what pattern I'm going to use. Um, and a lot of these stuff I didn't show you just because, I mean, really, it wasn't anything to see. They are just one color, really. But, um, yeah, I decided I wanted to show you this one just because I thought it would be kind of cool. And I'm going to haphazardly put these on here. I did make some bigger gold ones. Um, yeah, I made some bigger gold ones. And I always have tufts of silk everywhere, and it's, like, super annoying, so... If you don't see me doing anything, it's because I'm trying to get the silk off of these little flower petals. Um, and not even napkin. Yeah, that's the only thing that's super annoying about melts and pour because, I mean, I make CP soap. And when I do, I put silk in all of my soaps and the silk has a tendency to float around. And then it ends up getting all my soaps. So... There's been a couple of these where I had a couple of bars that didn't make it because when I would look at them for inspection before packaging, I'm like, is that a hair? But <laughs> it really wasn't a hair. It was just silk and I'm just like, Grr! so this, I'm going to go ahead and give these a gander before I plop them down in here. Yeah. So again, there is no rhyme or reason of how I'm putting these in here. I'm just going to place them randomly. Whatever. And I made quite a bit of these. Oh, I've got a little match mark in that one. But I plan to use them all. So if I even double stack them, that's fine. Fine, fine, fine. So, um, at some point I might even end up fast forwarding this. But, until I feel like I want to get to that point. Guys, I have made more bath bombs than you can shake a stick at. And I don't know if you will already see that video because I did record some of it. Um, yeah, I did record some of it. I did like just a video, not, I, let me see. I did explaining and then the rest that I made because I made quite a bit. I just kind of fast forward through it. If you already saw it, then you know exactly what I'm talking about. Or if you haven't saw it, that means I have not posted it yet, but I will. Um, so yeah, um, I've been making bath bombs like nobody's business and my KitchenAid helps out greatly super greatly and I'm so thankful to have them but laziness gets you nowhere because I have the two and I was too gosh darn lazy to go and pull out the bigger one and um, <laughs> I've had two bath bomb explosions where I turned it on high by mistake and the bath bomb uh, mixture just went flying everywhere was not a happy camper about that and I think I got a lot of these upside down I do the gold one so Turn those over because I'm like, why are some shinier than others? Because you have them upside down, darling. But this one, well, okay, I can give it a little bit. Now, what I did notice about melt and pour when I've been doing these, putting the embeds, um, like I did my royal apple berry. The problem with that was, um, I don't know where to put this. It was um, when I would put the embeds face down and then the soap would try to travel under them it would end up making bubbles and I'm just like oh gosh no so I didn't really care for the way that turned out and I might end up with some of that going on here but hopefully I don't because I'm going to stack a lot of these um again hopefully I don't get that because that would be a bummer actually I'm going to put a few smaller ones in here to fill up the spaces before I start to stack them so yeah and a lot of these are going to get cut which is absolutely fine as too many gold over there um so hopefully 
I don't get that going on with these where I get the bubbling because that is so ugly to me. I just, I didn't like it. Really did not like that, but I say, you know what? I made them, so I'm going to sell them anyway, of course. And I know not very many people will care about stuff like that, but you being the artist, you nitpick everything you do. I know that's how I am. So if I don't like it, then I feel like you'll never see it because I don't like it, which is really kind of dumb, but that's just how I am. And I know it's kind of a waste of money, but I just figure. I want to give my customers the best, you know, you know, you know. So if it's not up to my standards, I don't expect it to be up to you all standards. So that's why I am that way. And I thought these were pretty darn cute. And I hope that this turns out nice the way I want it to, because if it doesn't, I just might cry. Probably not, but <laughs> I'm just, I'm really wanting these to turn out nice because every one that I've made so far, I just not been in love with it. So yeah so now i'm going to start double stacking these and hopefully the melt and pour kind of travels under it like it's supposed to or like i want it to and i do plan to use all of these i really do and i kind of feel like i should have poured a layer first let that harden then poured another layer but we will see i think this might be okay though and then I, when I came in here, I'm just like, oh yeah, I'm ready to go. Um, no, I'm not because <laughs> I don't even have uh, any melt and pour melted for it to go over the top of this. <laughs> I did just the bottom layer, but totes, my goats forgot the top. So, um, of course, you guys won't have to wait, but I am going to take a pause to go and melt that up and then I'll be back. So, of course, this is going to be a short video. Because it's just melt and pour. There's not much to see. Of course, I'm going to attach the uh, unmolding to it as well. But, um, yeah, you know how that goes. But, yeah, I've made um, wax melts. I finally did that. Yay on me. And you guys probably saw that video, too. And if not, it'll be coming soon. I've been doing a lot of stuff, guys. I really have. So, I just want to have a big variety. And I am going to try my best. I promise I'm going to try my best to record the setup and some of the goings on at the craft fair and then the end. I only was able to get a little bit towards the end last year but that one is so great. I mean it's busy 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 and that's of course what you want it to be. So I didn't have time to do any of that. I don't like the way the way that one's sitting so I'm going to move that because I know it just feels like it's asking for trouble. So ah, yeah. I might, yeah, i probably end up fast forwarding this case because it's going to take me a minute to figure out one place all these, you know. So, yeah, let's just go ahead and fast forward that. Alright guys, I am back and I didn't color my, my melt and pour that I'm about to pour now. I actually used the remnants from these flowers which colored it just fine. I'm just hoping that it didn't color it too dark and I chopped the top of my nail off <laughs> with my melt and pour soap cutter but uh, I'll be fine. And yes, I did find it. No worries about finding a fingernail in the soap. That would be horrific. Um... So, let me see where can I put this. I'm going to give this a good spray down. And hopefully, again, I hope I don't have those stupid air bubbles. I hate that. Because that really just made me not like my Mel um, my Royal Appleberry soap. I'm going to give this a healthy dose of the alcohol, which is starting to hurt my hand. And I'm going to move this one just because I feel like ooh, <laughs> they're very slippery. I feel like it would be better placed over there. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and start pouring. And maybe if I spray while I pour, it'll help it go into all the creases and crevices. I don't know. I'm just hoping it will. And actually this, um, 
I thought it, I made it too dark, but this is actually perfect. So, and yes, I made a perfect amount too. Look at you, Kenny. You're getting fancy. Well, I just say out of all the nightmares, troubles I had making these soaps with the embeds in it, <laughs> I deserve a good one. <laughs> And my mom and Gabe said they liked the other ones. I just didn't. I wasn't a fan. So, and this soap is very hot. So hopefully it's not going to melt um, my embeds. And I was going to push that one over, but it ain't going to happen. So some of these are going to be sticking out, which is fine. Because I think this is going to be the bottom of the soap. Yeah. I was going to make it the top, but since they're sticking out, can't really do that now, can I? And I know this angle is not that great for you all. So, what I'll do is pick the camera up. Turn it around so you can see. Like that. And I should probably loosen this head. There you go. So, that is how it is looking. Let me see if I can zoom in a little bit. Yeah. So, I think it's going to be really cute. I do like it. And I'm very happy with the way it looks right now. Ooh, and some of them are starting to melt. Because <laughs> I knew that melt and pour was very hot, but I needed it to be very hot because um, I needed it to be able to go under. And the ones that are melting were the thinner uh, flowers that I made, but hopefully they'll stop melting. Yeah. So, that's it, guys. Um, hopefully you do like this. And I'm going to attach the unmolding and the cutting, so I'm not going to say goodbye now. Just bye for now. See you in a sec. Hey guys, I'm back. So, I unloaded it. And if any of you can tell me how to combat this, I'm just like so over it, it's not even funny. <laughs> As you can see, like I get these white or like air bubbles underneath the flowers. And I thought, okay, so pour hot, melt and pour, and then stick the flowers in it. That way I don't get this, whatever that is on the back. Um, but then it would melt my, uh, embed. So, I don't know. I'm at my wits end with this. I kind of just give up. <laughs> so, I was going to make this the top side, but now it's the bottom, clearly. And the top side, I don't really care how that looks because, you know, it sits out and sometimes get air bubbles. But, anywho, if you guys can tell me how to combat this, because I see so many melt and pour soaps with embeds that don't have this issue. I am not a pro at melt and pour. So, um, I'm going to go ahead and chop this up. I'm going to put some gloves on first. If there was a blowout and um what was i gonna say yeah i forgot oh yeah i'm gonna use um my old um turn it down i'm gonna use my old soap cutter and gabe bent it <laughs> but i love it because it's so sharp um it's melting this this thingy here right here so hopefully it doesn't go too crooked i don't know if you guys can see that like it's a little bit here, but hopefully it'll do well without it being too noticeable. If not, then I'll have to use my other one. And the reason why I want to use that one is because... Okay, I'm trying to blow balloon animals over here with this glove. Because this one that's bent is very sharp. This is the one that chopped my fingernail off. So, as you can see how thin the blade is. And then I got this one, and it's a little bit blockier, so it's not as sharp. So let's give it a go and see what happens. Not like that. <laughs> um, I don't know if I can use this because it has these two edges on it. Eh. I thought I was going to be able to, but I don't think so. Nope. Oh well. So I'm going to go ahead and use the other one. I just wish this one was sharper. Could probably take it to work and sharpen it. But anywho. So hopefully I can cut this straight. And again, I'm not going to cut them all on film just because what will be the purpose? Because they all look the same. There. that's that one move this over a little bit and again excuse this towel that's under here but I'm in the midst of craft beer and bath bombs and wax melts and soaps and melting pour and just everything so I'm just working with stuff on top of stuff all right so let's see what we got that's cute I would prefer that this been the bottom side but it is cute and of course I'm gonna cut that little notch off I do like them. I think they're kind of darling. And here's that one. Well, I guess I can show you all of them because they are going to be different. For a minute, I'm like, well, they all look the same, but actually they don't because the flower patterns are different. So if I could just cut straight down, which is always very difficult for me. 
And I was looking at some of the soaps from Amy Warden, um, her November challenge. I can't remember the name of it. Uh, almost said it. Gosh darn it. But, um, anywho, those soaps are amazing. And I really wish that I could have gotten into that, but I just had so much stuff to do that I wasn't able to join that challenge. But, um, I commend all those who did because you guys did an amazing job on your soaps. They do look pretty gosh darn amazing. And I will give it a go at some point once this craft fair is over. Because it is a very, very cool looking soap. For sure. I love that technique. Hopefully these are straight. Okay. I'm just like really in love with this mold, especially for melting pour. It is good for a uh, cold process as well. But I really like it for melt and pour. So these are stinking cute. They kind, they really are. They're growing on me. Because <laughs> I was just a little bit worried about the bottom. And okay. It's fine. It looks like the bottom. The tops are super cute. And then I'm going to bevel the edges. Yeah. I like them. I do like them. I got one little sticky uppy one here. But that's fine. And I wanted to recommend another book. Because you guys know I'm like book fanatics. But my laptop... Um, restart it and I can't Leanne oh, I can't think of the name but when I find the name of that author anybody who's really into books you gotta read her books because she is such an amazing author and I, I know it's kind of useless of me mentioning it <laughs> give me a second so I can pull up because I really want to tell you guys about this author I really really enjoy her books they're so well written the narrator is amazing and Sorry, you know, because I get comments about, oh, she she doesn't talk about so she talks about everything. Oh, well, that's who I am. If you don't like that I talk about books and everything else, then you may exit now. Thank you. All right, give me a sec, guys. And I know that sounds rude, but, you know, I get sick of rude people telling me how I should run my channel. And, yes, I do ignore them, but I'm just telling anybody now before you go leaving me messages or comments saying, well, you know, she talks about everything else. I couldn't watch her video. That's fine, too. But, anywho... Um, the name of this author is Leanne Moriarty. That's M-O-R-I-A-R-T-Y. She is amazing. Oh my gosh. I listened to one of her books called uh, Husband's Secret. Oh guys, I'm telling you. And if any of you have read that book, please do let me know what you thought because I thought it was amazeballs. I did, I did. And now I'm listening while well, I'm at the very end of um, The Hypnotist Love Story so well written and I would tell you guys what it's about but if you're interested in reading it then that would be like a spoiler now wouldn't it so I don't want to tell you anything but you really should go check out her books and this is not a sponsored video oopsies um, I'm just telling you guys what I enjoy but I am uh, I have a subscription to a website called Scribd and that's S-C-R-I-B-D D is in dog and um, I've been with them for years, like many moons ago. They used to offer all audiobooks and paperbacks for free. You can read them right there online. Or you can download them. In audiobooks, you can download them. But now they started doing this credit thing. I think I pay $8.99 a month. I should have probably showed you <laughs> those soaps. There you go. But yeah, I think I pay $8.99 a month. And you get a credit per month for a free audiobook lesson. And I just, I get so busy, I don't always have time to listen, so I'll save them. Um, but I picked those books, and now I'm just like, ah. I actually, yesterday, I listened, because the audiobook was 13 hours. I listened to 12 hours and 50 minutes. <laughs> so that was my whole day of in here in the studio. I listened. It is such a well-written, all of her books so far. I mean, I've only listened to two of them. They are so well-written. The author is amazing. The narrator is amazing. The plots are amazing. And it's not like a murder mystery. It's just something that can happen in everyday life. And they're just really good stories. And it's ugh, under contemporary women. If uh, you go to that website and want to take a peek around. But yeah, I really do enjoy Scribd. I do because they have fantastic books. Okay, so we're almost at the end. Alright, and the last one. I did pretty good. I think I, maybe I'm getting better at cutting soap freehand. <laughs> Probably not, just because they have the grids. <laughs> it's 
<laughs> so it's easy for me to follow them but i love that gold in there in that purdy do like those these are super stinking cute and again these are fragranced in um victor and rolf flower bomb dupe and i figured since it was called flower bomb i might as well put a whole bunch of flowers in here look like they exploded so there you go and i'm gonna pack an order and continue packing my uh, wax melts and all that stuff and guys okay so a lot of you have been asking me to um do a video about craft fairs so um since i'm going to a craft fair in a little less than two weeks i will record everything for me packaging um well not really packaging my soaps you guys saw that already but uh how i pack them up and get them prepared for the craft fair and you know just all the little doodads and stuff that i do so i will do a video of doing all that i think i talked about this in another video if i did please forgive me i don't remember but yeah so i will do that for you all because you've asked and i like to give you what you ask most of you anyway so <laughs> there you have it this is my flower bomb dupe i don't know what i'm gonna name it who knows but i do like them they are rather cute don't you think and I just love the size of these bars. And I love being able to stack them like that too. So I'm going to stack them like this at my craft fair once I wrap them. And I think I will show you in this video. If I didn't forgive. But I think I will show you in this video how I wrap these. Because I don't use my shrink bags for these. I use saran wrap. And when I had my review uh, with Royalty Soap. She talked about how well I wrap my popsicle soap. And it's really easy. So I'll show you guys that. Okay. So hang tight. Unless I forget. Then if I forget, I'll see you guys later. <laughs> Until the next video. Love hugs and kisses. Be awesome and amazing. Everything you do. And always keep it positive. I love you guys. I'll see you soon. Bye bye.